now we're going to talk about your play, uh, yes. Matthew. But uh, later, because you've never been here before, there will be a couple of friends questions. OK, going away. that's fine. And just to let you know, on the sofa, it's quite yin and yang. Gemma Arson over there, you lived and breathed friends. I mean, you were a big fan. I was the generation of friends. I mean, I'm 30 in two weeks, but when I was a kid, I was in the age... I had Rachel haircut the lot. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't a good period. No? <laughs> <laughs> and then, Miriam is one of those people. You must be in such a tiny minority in the world. I've never seen friends. <laughs> Possible. You must, well, have, you must have woken you... up in a hotel room and it was just on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you some episodes in a hotel room. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Um, many years ago, I lived in America, yes. in, in Los Angeles, and I was part of the stable of comedy people um, of Norman Lear. And he introduced me to Marta Kaufman and David Crane. Yes. And I really liked David Crane, and I couldn't stand Marta Kaufman. <laughs> I thought she was a monster. <laughs> <laughs> and they wrote Friends. <laughs> I thought, bugger it, I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only reason. That's the only reason. <laughs> right. oh, She's I'm actually a... quite a lovely woman. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Don't say anything. I won't. <laughs> No need, I'd have thought, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping on telly and I, all. I think it's been said. 